a hundred years old. Of course, my great grandfather started the brand. I have to think that he would be pleased with how we have grown the business and the brand. Pure wine has become a part of North Carolina and, and Southern culture, and it does reflect home to a lot of people, and so that's a really special thing to be a part of. My name is Cliff Ritchie. And my name is Joy Ritchie Harper. And our home is Salisbury, North Carolina. So back in 1917, right here in Salisbury, North Carolina, my great-great-grandfather LD Peeler started Cheer Wine, and every generation has been in the family business so far, and today members of the fourth and fifth generation are part of the business. I love this shot because it shows all the employees in, uh, in their uniforms with their hat and their tie. And I grew up in the Cheer Wine business and family, and now they're all gone, but I have my daughter and son in the business, and uh, we look forward <laughs> to continuing on. In celebration of Cheerwine's 100th anniversary, the Rowan Museum did put together a special Cheerwine exhibit um, that does really showcase Cheerwine's past 100 years. This is the Cheerwine History Room. Tell me a little bit about, so this is the beginning of Cheerwine. Tell me what we're seeing right now. Well, this is the uh, brand mint cola that my great-grandfather started with the uh, uh, getting into the soft drink business with this wholesale goods store. Then World War I started and sugar became scarce and rationed. It put the Mint Cola Company in bankruptcy. It was either reinvent yourself or get out of business. He uh, started experimenting with different flavors for sweetness with, with a sub, as a substitute for sugar. Through all the experimentation, they uh, came up with a formula for cheer wine named it Cheer Wine because of its burgundy red color like wine and its effervescent fizzy character that uh, is cheerful. So. Soldiers remember getting Cheer Wine in their care packages from home. Right, that, this is the story about Bob Morgan who was at the Battle of the Bulge. They were the only two in their platoon that weren't either killed or wounded. Really? So he's, he drinks a Cheer Wine every day. <laughs> he says for the rest of his life he's had a Cheer Wine every day. And not many people know the recipe. Um, I don't know the recipe. Only a few handful mm -hmm. of people know it. So it is a very guarded secret. So you can't even know the recipe. No. <laughs> One day she'll know the recipe. <laughs> One day. Salisbury is home for me. I grew up here. But every summer, I and my husband and the children come back to visit my parents. And so Haps and Cheer Wine is something that we always do. Those are your burgers. A lot of other towns have an athlete that, that's big in their town. We can always say we got Cheer Wine and they can't take it away from us. It's amazing to hear how much Cheer Wine means to other people. You know, it's, it's an important part of my family, but it's also an important part to a lot of other um, families in North Carolina. I am very confident that you're going to be here for the 200 family. The Rowan Museum is at 202 North Main Street in Salisbury, and their cheer wine exhibit runs through December. The museum is open Friday through Sunday from 1 to 4. For more information, give them a call at 704-633-5946 or go online to rowanmuseum.org. Just down the street is Hap's Grill at 116 North Main Street in Salisbury, and they're open Monday through Saturday from 11 a.m to 4 p.m. For more information, give them a call at 704-633-5872 or you can visit them on Facebook.